Hi there, I am Eusebio Bujakan, and in this video I will showcase how one can leverage a native UiPath MCP server to give everyone in the company access to a dedicated and useful company policy agent. So let's be honest, company policies matter and likely they are not going anywhere. But let's also admit that they are often complex, frustrating, time-consuming, both to understand and to follow. They tend to create friction rather than flow. A dedicated and secure agent such that employees can ask and act on the company policy can fix that. So let's see how that experience would look like and how one can implement it within UIP. Now, let's imagine this simple but plausible scenario. As an employee, I want to experiment with AI tools to accelerate and amplify my work. For that, I would have an ask such as this. I need to buy $10 worth of API calls. What should I do for my company policy? If I have this ask for a generic agent, then the response I get would be sane, but rather useless. However, on the other hand, if the same question is asked, but this time I give it context and I plug it in to a new iPad MCP server, the server would be called company policy and it would give context and access to two tools which are defined and hosted within new iPad. For instance, this would be a company policy MCP with one tool being the agent that can give advice on the company policy and the second tool will be an email tool to start and act upon the company policy. In this case, based on my ask, it identified that company policy agent is the one that can aid to give me the right response, the contextualized response. And it seems that the response is that since the purchase is under $50 for AI users specifically, you can use the self-service model. The alternative, which is the generic one, which is still provided, is that if it's under $10,000, I can go to the traditional route to ask for managerial approval. The suggestion is to go with the first approach. I'll say, I like the first approach. I want to use this for my personal automation. Please send the email for me. This time it identifies the second tool, which is the email tool. It composes the email. And after that, it should send it on my behalf. Perfect. I've sent a notification email to the indicated person of contact. And now I see that just happened and it added my justification for the purchase. And the process is complete. Finally, let's take a look at how we can implement this. From a high level perspective, you will have to build an agent, a company policy one, and an API workflow to send the email. Once we have them, we will add them as tools to a UiPath MCP server and point an external app, in this case, Cloud Desktop, to this UiPath MCP server. Let's take this step by step. Firstly, we will start with a new policy. For instance, one dedicated for AI tools with total credits under $50 and a curated list of tools pre-approved. Once we have this, we want to use them as context for agents. First step would be to save this file and upload it into the UiPath storage bucket. We'll create one company policy and add this file, a text file with the policy to the storage bucket. Next, we can create an index out of the storage bucket. Imagine this is storage bucket and the type is text. Once we have this, then we can feed this to a coded agent to contextualize the response that it gives. 
Next, let's create the agent, the UI path launching agent, super simple one. But at the policy node, we will use the UI path SDK and from that SDK, the context grounding retriever will point to the company policy index, which will in turn point to the policy that we just written. Once we have this and we are satisfied with the behavior, we can say iPad pack publish and done. To use it, we'll have to add it as a process, which I just did. And we are done with creating, publishing, and creating a process out of the coded company policy agent. There is one more tool that we have to create, which is email tool, which is an API workflow. This is just as simple as you can see. One activity, which is send email, and we fill in the subject, the body, and the recipient. Once I'm done with this, I have the two processes, the company policy and the email tool, and I should be ready to add them to a UiPad MCP server. Go to servers, add MCP, which is UiPad, and I will add them as tool. The first tool is an agent, company policy. The next one is an API workflow, email tool, and done. Once I go back, with the one that I already got created, I will copy the URL and paste the URL to Cloud Desktop so that it knows where to point to the UiPath MCP server. After that, I should be able to see the two tools, the two processes that I created exposed from the UiPath via an MCP server. Thanks.